Hi, I'm Jessica and welcome to my channel. I have a message for you guys today and it's going to revolve around the energies of Psyche and Gemini. I'm excited because I'm a Gemini. So, <laughs> all right, well, let's go with the first, the first card. Psyche is about, um, you, um, being worried about what other people think about you. Okay. This is, um, how other people's opinions affect us. Okay. And there's a little saying that goes, uh, what other people think about you is none of your business. <laughs> okay. So this is basically just asking you, you know, cause our, our empathetic side our you know, those of us who have a lot of empathy, we internalize those things. You know, when, when we feel like people, um, you know, are look down on us for some reason or don't agree with whatever we do or say or how we dress or how we talk or how we interact with people. So, um, this is just asking you, it's really just saying, um, don't internalize, you know, just, um, everyone is on a different path and uh, we're all at different legs of our journey. And, you know, it, it's just kind of to drop that, you know, the, the ego when it comes to that, just kind of let it go and, uh, and don't worry about it because you're, um, your sensitivity uh, may be a little heightened, okay? Like you might be a little more sensitive to um, people's emotions and their um, energy. And so that could be affecting you right now. And um, when someone is insecure, you know, everyone pretty much in this world is insecure to some point. And uh, just be careful that you're not taking on other people's emotions too much, okay? And which leads us to the Gemini card, okay? So Gemini's are um, are known to be uh, very outgoing and funny, witty, and, um, and adaptable. Okay, great communicators, right? I mean, am I right? Because, you know, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, uh, it's about uh, being adaptable. So this is um, telling you to uh, work on your adaptability, okay? And uh, maybe maybe you are being super adaptable right now. Maybe a situation's coming up where you're going to have to adapt in order to survive, you know, in whatever manner that is. Um, so we've got the adaptability and the not, you know, worrying about what other people think, okay? So maybe it's time for you to adapt um, your way of thinking. Maybe you've got an, an old uh, way of thinking that is... Um, it's just not working so well like, like it used to. Maybe your entire way of living is not going to be working like it used to. And it's time to just for uh, have an upgrade all around in your life, you know. Um, and maybe not even an upgrade. Maybe just a change. A change of environment. Uh, there's something that, that may need to change. And it could just be an outdated belief system. Okay. Well, we'll explore it further. Let's pull some cards. And, um, and we'll see if we have some advice for you guys today. Okay, yeah, I hope y'all are having a great day, okay, and I hope that you will like this video if it resonates with you, okay, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's see what the animal spirits have to say today. All right, one card. Okay, so lay a solid foundation. This is the beaver spirit. All right, you know, I don't know why I just thought of this my, when my brother was little. He had a paintball team with his best friends. And I remember he had some dog tags made up that said the Angry Beavers. <laughs> I don't know. I took a trip down memory lane today. I um I saw some videos of um I logged back into Facebook, you guys. <laughs> I hadn't been on there in a long time. It's my old account, like from a long time ago. Uh, and so all these memories came up, and I got to see my brother who passed away and my grandfather who passed away and watch videos of them. And oh my gosh, it was just, it was amazing. So shout out to my brother Ben in heaven right now, the Angry Beavers crew. <laughs> but anyways, lay a solid foundation, okay? So, um, you know, maybe your foundation has crumbled around you and maybe you need to start building back. Okay, maybe it's um, you've got to adapt to your new circumstances. Okay, so it's time to build a foundation, build a solid foundation. And that means being grounded. Okay, so be sure you're getting grounded. Um, however, that, you know, whatever that means to you, maybe, you know, just going outside and walking in the grass, um, you know, meditating every day, praying, you know, however you get grounded, you know, eating good foods and just being healthy and getting an overall better health about you spiritually, mentally, and physically. Okay. So lay that foundation because, um, you know, and, and don't worry about what other people are thinking about you. Like if you're on hard times right now, 
don't worry about trying to um, hide that kind of stuff from people, you know, because people can't help you and be there for you if they don't know that you've got a problem. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> I can tell you all about it. Okay. Um, but you know, maybe, maybe things have, um, your foundation has been a little shaky. And so why don't you be sure that you, um, you know, s start building back on a solid foundation. Okay. A lot of us are starting from scratch right now, including myself. And, um, the, the life that I knew that I once knew is gone. Okay. That's, that's no longer, it's not coming back. I have to, I have to keep moving, but you know what? I've been setting the foundation and, um, and it's solid and it's, it's getting more solid every day. And I know that I'm going to be very successful in the future. And I never doubt that. And that's the key. Part of the key, one of the keys to manifesting is to, you know, believe it. You have to believe it. You have to act as if that you, you've already got it and you're going to be successful. You don't ever doubt that. Don't ever, ever doubt that um, you're not going to get to where you need to be, okay? Or where you want to be, okay? So lay that foundation, write that list. Make sure you've got a list of exactly what you want out of life and uh, out of this human experience. You know, we're all just here having an experience, you know, these star bodies and light inside of a meat suit, <laughs> And we're, we're all shaping our own realities right now. So lay that foundation, um, adapt to, to, you know, however you have to, and, um, and, and don't worry about other people's opinions, okay? Let's get another card. Let's get another card. Okay. You angry beavers. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, I should title this video, Ain't the Angry Beavers. Okay, here we go. Um, exchanging gifts. Huh. Okay, maybe this is the universe. I'm feeling like this is the universe um, giving you a gift. You know, as, as you are as you are working hard on yourself and laying that foundation, is you're going to get back what you put into it, okay? So you're going to get back whatever you put into it. So work hard, okay? And like I was saying, if you're on, if you're on like hard times right now, um, be, be open to receiving, okay? Be open to receiving help because... Um, you know, yeah, I've got a lot of scenarios in my head right now, uh, but just be open to receiving. And that, that's, that's hard for a lot of people, you know, and even if that means, you know, if you, if you've got somebody, you can go clean their house or something and, you know, and, and, and it'll do them a favor and they can give you a few bucks in return, you know, things like that, you know, don't, don't ever hesitate to do that. And don't worry about what people think. Cause there are people that want to help you. Okay. There are people that want to help. And they would probably give them the shirt. They would give you the shirt off their back. Um, and, and, and you wouldn't even have to think about, you know, even asking. But if they don't know that you need help, then they, they won't. So just um, offer to go do something nice. And uh, not even in exchange for money. Just offer to do something nice. And the universe will, will reward you, okay? All right. That's my dog walking in there. If you guys hear that pitter-patter on the floor. <laughs> Okay, so, um, and I, I see the serendipity card. This is like, wow, a wonderful, beautiful experience, like happiness and um, success coming your way. See that four-leaf clover right there at the top and that little fairy going towards it? You have good luck on your side. There's a lot of good luck on your side. So, um, and, and a beautiful, bright future for you. So, um, put the hard work in and... Um, and, and just expect miracles, expect miracles and, and get that foundation. Don't give a crap what anybody else thinks. Okay. And be adaptable. And you know, if you're manifesting something, if you're, you're trying to manifest the, a new life and the life that you want, um, be open to what the universe sends you. You know, they may not send you, you, you ask for a cake. They may not send you a, a big birthday cake. They may send you all the ingredients. To make the cake yourself okay and so you need to watch for signs so that um you know what to look for because god's not going to just place a birthday cake in front of you or a big gigantic wedding cake or something he's going to give you the eggs and the batter you know the the mix the flour the butter uh, the the things that make the icing and um all those tools you know you're going to get all the the stuff to make it but you may not get the cake you know you got to make it yourself and um and so that's how, um, that's how it works. And that's how manifesting works. Okay. So let me get one more card. All right. The age of light. Wow. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Okay. 
the age of light. You're probably a light worker. Like I'm, I think a lot of people that watch this are uh, are light workers. Uh, watch my channel. So, um, if you if you believe that we incarnate and reincarnate, um, then you you might even feel like you're in touch with uh, past lives. Okay. Well, apparently you have been uh, reincarnating. And um, sorry, the Amazon guy was here. <laughs> He's like, "What is this girl doing?" <laughs> Yeah. So, um, but yeah, apparently you've been training for lifetimes for this. And a lot of times the things that, um, that interest you the most are things that you've done for lifetimes over and over again, and you've been perfecting it. So you may have some kind of talent or something that's really going to take you really far. Okay. So I want you to tap into that, um, and explore it and, and, and start, um, looking into it a little bit more, even if it's just a weird little hobby that you have, um, you know, do whatever you're good at, if it's music or if it's sports or if it's, you know, um, you know, identifying plants and like, you know, or taking care of animals or, or kids, taking care of children or, you know, teaching, teaching things and, um, you know, whatever that is, really explore that because you are meant to do something, you know, that's important. And, and even if it's mundane, maybe it's just something that you don't feel like it's that important. It could really change somebody's life. You have no idea. You have no idea how, how li the little things affect people. Even opening up a door for um, a person and holding it for them and telling them hello and smiling at someone, that could change the course of that person's life. You never know. You never know. It's the little ripples that we put into the fabric of this universe. You know, it's like you throw the stone in the water and you just watch the ripples um, go out over the lake, you know, um, one little good deed could, could really make a big change. Whew, I don't know why I just got emotional over that, but, um, but it's true. You know, you just don't know the, the impact that you really have on people in a, in a good way. So yeah. All right. Be yourself, everybody. Be yourself. We do what you came here to do. Lay a solid foundation and be adaptable. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Um, I hope that you'll join me next time. Please follow me on Instagram at Oracle of the South and um, at War Woman Goods. And until the next time I see you guys, I'm sending y'all lots of love and light. Bye.